second this news this morning about um, sort of your, your new contract, how relieved is the word I'm going to use, but I don't mean it that way, but uh, you know, in, in terms of getting that all sorted out and you know what's, on, what's ahead for you for the next few years? Yeah, look, it's been... Um, uh, it was a bit of a draw, not drawn out for the a term I was going to use, but not probably that fitting. It, it's been it's been a long process, and delighted to get to the end of it. Um, looking forward to to having that, um, put to bed now. Um, don't have to worry about that. It's, it's maybe about a week or so ago, kind of was was able to 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 check that le- check that box off my list. So delighted to to be able to to finally announce that 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 we've um. We're back on for another two years, so so looking forward to it and everything that that could entail, be it down here or be it back up at home. Can I ask you about the influence that Paul O'Connell and John Fogarty have had since they've come in? Um, the lineup seems to be, you know, an area that's that's earned our massively competitive in. The scrum is an area that Ireland are equally probably as competitive also. Yeah, look, I think I mentioned this the last time someone was chatting about Pauly. Um, Paulie hasn't came in and tried to reinvent them. I think he hasn't tried to to take everything away of what we had learnt before. He, what he has done is has let us continue to work with what we were doing and adding small tweaks to make us better and better, session by session, adding adding bits of detail that we might be missing, ensuring that we are getting as as consistent the line out as possible for um for be it the hookers, the jumpers, and the lifters uh, to make sure that. Ultimately, we can have as smooth a week running into the running into uh, the game as possible. And the same with Fogs. Fogs has been incredible with with sort of the insight that he that he's brought into the scrum. And again, he's making the the scrum feel not only about front row, but it's about the eight players that are in the scrum. Because very often, what can happen in scrum meetings is it happens in front rows just sit and talk more or less in a different language than everyone else. And 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 as second rows, we just stick our heads in and push. Whereas Fogs has brought a whole new dimension to it, if you like, and 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 was really encapsulating the the eight as as one, I suppose, as he likes to put it, to to ensure that we are getting those performances throughout the week, building for the weekend, the same as the lineout. Good lad, thanks. Have a good week. Cheers. Now, Saint here in Virgin India, um, you seem to slip in very seamlessly into that role of Ireland captain. Is it something now that you've got a the taste for that you you'd uh, like to do again? Yeah, I'd love to do it again. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, obviously, the result wasn't wasn't what we had wanted, um, but I, I really enjoyed the the build up to it and and during the game. Um, obviously, there there's a, a pecking order of leaders, if you like, ahead of me, and and that's part of the reason why I, when you mentioned the word seamlessly there, that this team has leaders the whole way through it, um, and that's probably one thing that made it feel more seamless for me or made it more um, easy for me to step into that role. The team that I was put in charge of had leaders from right the way through it, experience um, and inexperience, who were equally capable within with leading each other. Um, and I think that's probably part of the reason um, why there we I was able to step in down that pecking order, if you like. Yeah, you can say that you can say that about a lot of things. Like, the work rate should be automatically characteristic. The leadership should automatically be characteristic. But in a lot of teams that I've played in, be it Irish or or be it um, Ulster or or wherever else, you don't automatically have those qualities. Those qualities have to be worked on and practiced, like everything else. The the qualities that are that are a given aren't um, aren't always there and need to be continually coached. And probably to, to touch on what Corky asked there, um, the um, the detail that Paulie's adding the line out, it's it's nothing mind blowingly new. It's 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 the ability to be able to to continue and re coach the small things that everyone, I suppose, in inverted commas already knows, and to ensure that we're staying on top of that. Yeah, obviously. I had a good chat with my family, and um, they were all delighted, frustrated they couldn't be there. Um, I I chatted with John Johnny pre, uh, prior to a couple of meetings, and I had a 
chat with Polly as well uh, around it, and I had a good chat with Rory Best as well. Um, obviously, naming their three captains who I've cap- who I've been captained by, and I think they're three people who who always have set an incredibly good example in any team they've ever captained. So, like I said, with moving into the Ulster captaincy, I didn't want to just fall into the exact shoes of one of them. I wanted to try and get a get a feel and and, and do it slightly differently in my own way, um, which I felt I tried to do, um, but, it, but it was an enjoyable experience nonetheless. Ian, um, if I could ask you, just because of COVID, how stressful was the contract negotiations? We know they still get into the Six Nations, obviously, but um, it, it should be, I presume, quite straightforward for you, Ulster captain, the bottom of your career, but did it become stressful or did it become very difficult for you to go back to that? Yeah, I, I would say the the initial period was probably more stressful in in terms speaking as a general player in, in the wider in the wider group being able to the contract negotiations have been slightly later than we we maybe would have would have initially anticipated or the way where the where they would be in a usual year and um, that was probably something that that um, anyone in any profession would find stressful pushing out the the sec- their security going forward and. Um, when they got underway, um, the the discussions that we had, um, with my agent had with with Nusifora, David Nusifora, and 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 other members, um, of his team, they weren't they weren't painful at all. They they were, uh, understanding, and and I think on, from both sides of the the table, uh, we knew we knew where we had to get to, and um, uh, didn't take anywhere near as long as probably I thought I thought it would. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think just in terms of looking out for each other and making sure that everyone's fine. If anyone, anyone has any external stresses, be it contract or be it family or college or anything else, I think you always have to be mindful of your teammates to make sure that that you have that extra eye outside of the rugby circle because ultimately that will impact their rugby performance, be it training or matches or sleep before a game or or anything anything like that so I think being able to to spot guys when they're maybe struggling a bit or maybe they're not themselves that's uh, that's key and and Andy Farrell's great for it he's, he's good for picking up when guys aren't, aren't aren't feeling great and checking in on guys and it's something I think probably this whole uh, this whole whole group are pretty good for as well You're trying to find out if I've had any other offers, or? I'm sure you did, but I'm just wondering, like, is it is it less so now? Like, are, are clubs kind of not, you know, so attached, or maybe as greedy as they might have once was? Uh, it's 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 a difficult one to put it. Obviously, the, most of the Irish contracts have been done a lot later than everywhere else. Um, I've only ever had eyes for Ireland, so that's uh, <laughs> so that's that's kind of. It's it's a it's a difficult one the way to put it. Um, f- few players um, would would try and play clubs off against each other. You you wouldn't necessarily get that far down the line for clubs to be making huge cash offers um, or or any cash offers before showing some sort of real commitment. Um, I think that most of the players, um, the type of people they are, they don't they're not really most of our team and, and most of the provinces anyway, they don't, wouldn't really play a lot of people off each other. Um, so I think I think there's been a lot of factors which have which have made negotiations this year a lot a lot different. But but uh, maybe not in the way that you, that you're saying. Um, no, it's, it's, it's two years from the start of this season coming. Um, maybe there might be an extra month in there to get in line with the global season. Um, so 
pr it'll, it, the contract will run, I believe, until July 31st, 2023. Well, I'd like to hope I'll be extending anyway. The Guinness Six Nations Championship, live on Virgin Media One and Virgin Media Player.